Pisces, Pisces, this is for you. This is a general express love reading, okay? So when I say express, the reason I say that is because there's three tarot cards, okay, which will get into the energy of the love part of your life. And then I will use a different deck, tarot deck, as to get a clarifier. And then I will get an oracle card, which is just here, which will give you oracle guidance, which is basically emotional guidance, okay? Um, and that will just generate a, a picture of what is going on. So if you are looking for a really, really in-depth reading, then this is not the reading. This is what I say in Express. It might resonate. There might be parts of this um, that is a message for you. So then you just take that with you. Um, and if not, then check out your rising and moon because that make more, might make more sense. And if this doesn't resonate, then... Um, check me out next week because I'll be doing this next week as well okay and it's not always just going to be specific to love so um, if you're single or if you are in a situationship where you like somebody or it's off on uh, this is a reading for you if you're happily married engaged happily in a relationship with no questions then this isn't for you there'll be other videos okay um, other than that Pisces let's get into it and let's see what is coming up for you guys now so Pisces Look what's going on. You are the wounded warrior, which is the nine of wands, okay? So there is hope here uh, with regards to what's going on in your mind frame, but I just feel like you've been disappointed a little bit. Some of you have been waiting around for too long for the wrong person sort of thing, okay? Um, I think also when you coming up as the nine of wands to begin with, this is your energy. It's the first position. It's always the strongest because this is where you are now. It's like there's a sense of feeling defeated, uh, but at the same time, you're not letting go of your idea of love. And that's wonderful, but don't pinpoint that down to just one person. It's not one person who can make you feel good. And like, we have an idea about somebody, um, and we think, do you know what, they're the best thing ever. I just want to be with them. Why can't they see me for my worth, that sort of thing. That's when you have to let go of that wand that he's holding on to so tight there. There's other wands around, guys, uh, but we don't always see that, okay? Um, and I just feel if this is with a situationship, there's too much work going on on your part to make it work, okay? Maybe you were the one to always initiate conversation. Maybe you were the one to always initiate meeting up, whatever that is, but let it go for now, okay? And let's see where this is going. If you're not thinking about a particular person, if you're thinking, oh, I don't know who that could be, uh, but then this would be your outlook towards love in general. Like, I'm not really hopeful about it, but I'm not down and out too much. It's kind of middle of the road, not really expecting anything, but at the same time, still wanting that feeling of, of being in love, okay? So let's see where this is going for you, Pisces. Almost. So let's see where this is going for you, wonderful Pisces. Look what's coming in for you. The Six of Wands. Victory, this is. From the nine to the six, and that's a good uh, decrease in this instance. Oh, with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom there, this is saying let fate play out, okay? This is coming up a lot for a lot of you. Uh, but the, there is victory coming in with regards to your love life. So if you're single, not thinking about anybody, you're going to feel good, okay? And, but you're going to feel good because it's almost like somebody sees you for your worth and who you are. You're not mauling yourself around a person or their expectations anymore, okay? Um, if this is with regards to a situationship, then this is from an outside influence position. So this is victorious. So they kind of uh, come back in a little bit. But what I do want to say, is don't stay in this energy for any longer than what you need to guys maybe assess a situation maybe let bygones be bygones maybe admit defeat to certain degrees but don't admit defeat with yourself don't think this is it don't think oh well, if i can't have this person then what else is there stop thinking like that because the victory card coming in it comes in again okay and once we allow ourselves to put ourselves on the pedestal and think i'm actually See, gonna see myself as the sun. I'm the warm, expansive, bright energy that everyone likes, um, and I'm gonna keep in that mode, okay? Um, and that kind of energy follows you. You're gonna be a magnet for when you start to shift your energy, your frequency, and how you see yourself. Um, you Pisces, deepest thinkers, okay? So there's a really kind of profound energy with regards to your connections, and you can see and feel so much more than what the other person can right now, right at this moment, okay? Um, so let's see where this is going for you. But the fact that there was, there's a lot of communication coming in. So if there's nothing happening at the moment, um, then don't stress it. 
So what else is coming up for Pisces? What else is coming in? Let's see what is coming in for Pisces. What else is coming in? Look, all the ones. You've got all the ones, guys. All the communications. The page of ones. See? There will be a bit of communication. A little bit of cheeky communication. But what I do want to say, with the knight of ones at the bottom, so more than one person, uh, the knight of, uh, sorry, the page of ones coming up here, they're a page, okay? So what that means is, we don't always want to settle with a page. They're fun. We can let them think that we need them more than what we really do but what is that, what is it that we really want what is it that we crave what is it that we desire these are all questions that can be found and resolved within yourself not with another person because a page of ones is good fun they'll message you when they want to message you basically they'll message you when they are bored um but they they will change their view on how they see you but you have to change yourself first okay and i'm not saying you need to change i'm not saying you need to make all these big grand kind of gestures with yourself but know your worth pisces and don't don't hold on too tight to the idea of one person because the page of wands is a little bit immature and they can be flaky okay and um, they're really great fire sign but at the same time the passion is there but don't don't be someone's flavor of the month okay is what I want to say because they come back around again and then but they're still the page energy so what is that telling you if you are not thinking about anybody then this is somebody coming in to message you to begin with um, and then well let's see how this goes but know your worth first is what i want to say to all you pisces out there wherever you have it in your chart because that's when things start to change so let's have a look and see what is coming coming in as an overall clarifier so i'm just going to ask can i have an overall clarifier for my pisces what is coming in for my pisces what is coming in what is coming in almost there guys almost what is coming in for my pisces five of cups pisces and love it's either amazing or it's down and out that's the way it seems to go with you guys because you're waiting who are you waiting for you're waiting on somebody to either tell you what you want to hear or what you feel you feel so much for this energy if you're in a situation ship the five of cups is what is the debbie down energy and it's almost like it's saying you're focusing at the moment too much on one person on one thing and you can change that i want to tell you that there is victory coming in for you but don't let this victory be short-lived because when this card comes in it's saying to keep going so I feel a lot of you in a situation ship with a Pisces element is, it comes and goes. It makes you feel good, then it doesn't. You don't know where you stand. You're holding on to like the potential or something, but then it goes again. But they're not kind of growing up anytime soon. So what I wanna to say to you is empower yourself first, focus on the cups that are not spilt, okay? And rejig your energy, C create a new focus if you need to, keep yourself busy, put somebody on the back burner and then watch what happens, okay? Because now I'm gonna see what is coming in from an external, si not an external situation, from an oracle position, and let's have a look. You are gonna hear from somebody who's been messing you around, uh, but don't hold on to that. Keep busy, do your own thing. So what is coming in? So let's see now. What is coming in for an oracle message for my Pisces? What is coming in for my Pisces? Can I have an oracle message? Just one, because I just feel quite... Yeah, thank you. There you go. There's nothing to worry about. What's going on in your mind? Are they seeing somebody else? Am I important to them? Are they going to come back in? What's going to happen? Don't worry. I know it's easy for me to say. I don't know what situation you're in, but... You don't want to be feeling like this, guys. Get your power back. Understand your worth. And you will see why this card has come out. And that, my friends, is for you. Okay? So, that is your very express general love reading. Um, and I will be doing another one on Sunday. Um, it's not necessarily about love. It's just whatever the cards pick up on. That will be a bit longer because there's more cards. For a private one-to-one, -one, you can send me a message over for half an hour or one hour. Other than that, guys, you take care. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Have a beautiful rest of the week. Bye-bye.